can you hear my voice? How excited I get when I talk about my stuff. Yeah, the garden, the furniture and all. So thinking about Paul coming and we make a life, I was totally sad. Of course, provided he wanted it. But at the time, I was totally sad because it was all mine. Because I picked it up. Oh, the antique, yeah, it was well, it was worth something. So I was brought to an antique store and it was sold eventually. And we got a few hundred dollars for it. I don't know how many, 800 maybe? More than that, 16? I don't know, I have no idea. I don't give a shit, I don't like it. If you like antique, it probably was good stuff. It was very firm. It was very, I don't know. I can't describe antiques. I feel like I have to throw up on it. Let me talk about stuff I do like. I endured that. I didn't like that. I don't want that. So if you buy, if I, provided of course he wanted it, but like I saw myself, what first? Okay, so the bedroom. It would be outrageous for me to take a bedroom to a new, you know, situation. But if I had to, if you buy the bedroom, if you buy a bedroom furniture, you get the bed and you get the headrest and you get the little dressers at the side and then you get another dresser. I'm sorry, side table, maybe night table at the side. And then you get another dresser or two. Yeah, good by IKEA because you can just add them up, put them next to each other or on top of each other. I had the entire thing because Yaiki had a different bed. I slept in a matrimonial bed. I think that's how it's called, right? And he had a different bed. So I had a bedroom. I had the living room furniture, which I liked a lot. And yeah, the tables were good. I can't really, I cannot really remember them much. I have to make memory to get them back now. Yeah, that's very good. But I saw more like, I saw myself, but he needed a desk. I thought about that a lot. In an office, I could clearly see it. And the couch where I would maybe hang out with him so he wouldn't feel alone. I had two, that was the couch in my studio. Because as soon as it got renovated, I was just thinking if he painted the wall red after, after the couch was there or before. Well, as soon as got renovated, Jackie went out and he never was allowed to step on foot in again. I take care of everything. Everything. I take care of everything. Remember the fence I, I painted outdoors? I could do that again. This time easier because I know what to do. It. Yeah, because dumb Jackie done told me. To use a roller instead of a brush would have been so much faster. I didn't know I could actually do that. Yeah, sanding, no sanding. I don't, I don't mind if it's my place. I don't mind to spend the time of the world doing that. I even had little, um, oh, we talked about it a few weeks ago. Now I forgot. When you have like bricks and you make walls, like German houses are, are, are built with bricks. So there were like a few brick walls in there. One in my studio and the other one. I lost that. So I painted them to get rid of that. Well, ideally I would do something else with it today. Yeah, I would, yes so, yes so, gives, gives them, make a real wall out of it and then paint it. But that was then. I make stuff the way I like it. Ooh, and then I thought, can I at least enter painting it? I made research, oh, you know how often I painted walls, indoors and outdoors. But I, I found a very, very cool, maybe you call it fancy way of, of painting indoors a different type of paint and also a different type of method. Yeah, I did that all myself. The method. In the kitchen, in the, where the chimney area was and in the living room. And in the living room I had the new method too. A new, oh, I forgot the name, but I looked it up. Some gay person was showing it off online. How to do it. It's like artsy and pretty and warm. No, I love doing these things. The more artsy, the better I'm in. Yeah, well, I could have taken the bamboo table too, but that would not have much sense. Because I don't think he was comfortable on it. 
yeah, if you have small space, then it's what it is, but maybe that too. So I was totally sad. Oh, I had, I had new sheets. I, I had new sheets, I had new pajamas. I had new, I never used them because they were for him. I bought him a grill, it was for him. Pretty, more, not much nicer than the one I had. No, a small one, because I don't think one needs a large grill. Unless, of course, you have like so many people to feed. I never used it because it was for him. What else did I got? Wait. Well, the kitchen stuff, right? Oh, the, for example, the cat, she had a little scratchy thing that was really cool. It looked like an infinite sign, like an eight. And then I saw, at Amazon I got it. And then I saw the design that you can actually put them on the wall. And there were like four stacked on each top of each other that looked like some super cool decoration. And I was so, so joyful. Go ahead, not cry because I am. And that we could put that. So I ordered four of them and never unpacked them because they were for the new home. So she could have joy in crawling up and down. And that was actually one of the hardest part besides me being sad was that when is she going to start and using, using and enjoying her stuff? Well, it was never used. I had a tiny IKEA nether couch on the new in the salon, but I would not have wanted to take that with me. I don't know why. I just didn't felt like. I think I actually separated that and, and and thought in my mind already, and I think that's how it ended up. Yeah, IKEA, you take it. You take that couch. It's yours because he doesn't need more. I don't think there was a table. Maybe there was one, but not in front because I would have disturbed the walk. But if at all, he would not want any of the furniture, I'm fine. But I wanted the zero gravity chair. That was like the one thing I wanted. And then maybe the couch. But then again, I could also not have it. I wasn't really thinking about it. I'm respectful. I am all furnished and that's the stuff I like. He had, but if he wants different, that's fine too. The house in San Rafael had a little desk on the other side of the kitchen with the same kind of stuff. Uh, that served like an office, but it was built in. Yeah, the home computer was standing right there. Now he saw it, he went by twice. He was actually sitting right next to it. On top was a, um, a printer, a large printer, which I bought, purchased finally, a good printer. Oh, I could have taken it, of course. I would have, because, you know, we were three. Definitely. It was a great printer. He saw it too, because I I had that little piece of paper where he wrote his birth date down, right there on top of it. Oh, I had art. Well, I had art I liked, and I started to make my own art. The paintings, I mean. And I had purchased another art piece, which was really cool. There's a few items I bought for him. Ooh, outdoors, I had a super cool little thing. It was just a round thing and like a little iron. How do you say hierro forjado? Iron, cast iron. And had tiny little candle holders. I think I actually bought different candle holders because I liked them better. They had like different colors, like orange, mameish, and little dark purplish, almost bluish, and light purplish. With little, for little tea, tea candles out there, and I liked it so much. But I had bought something else for the new house. I never used, I had it packed too. So I had decorating items, out of the decoration you needed. I wanted to buy a painting from someone else. I wouldn't know, I looked so much for paintings. I never found one I liked, so no. I mean, if you see some and you like it, yeah, but I never thought, I, I went twice to Hunter's Point. Do you know how many? It's like hundreds of artists. All the artists in the Bay Area and beyond come and exhibit their stuff there. Do you know how tiring that is to walk through all that shit? Yeah, the best thing I saw was a Buddha on a large paint as like as a decorative item, but I would never ever purchase that because it was too stupid. And one painter, she did something which was cute I liked it because I kept the postcard, I made postcards. And inspired, I made the painting with the last large rock in my living room. Inspired in her, so I can do it myself. 
Yeah, it was because of her painting that I did the frame around it. I painted a frame and it turned out to be a rock, like a, like a rock, a diamond rock with many colors. I am not attached to my art. So if, if it's not sweeting, I have not the habit that anybody had an opinion about my decoration. I was always doing the thing, my thing, and everyone was grateful because I took good care of everything. No one would object. And everyone was being joyful that I did all that and how pretty it looked. On the other hand, I am totally unattached. I was not in love with any of the paintings I did. Imagine what I did now. I did not know at the time, I had no time to look. So I would not actually, right now, none. But then, yeah, if you like it, fine. If you don't like it, fine too. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I had a painting from Adriano. No, Papa, the clown, didn't I give it up? No, I was still there, right? And yeah, Adriano, Papa, Daddy, and then the son, I had another one, Ellen Cargo. Yeah, but that I would not have wanted to see. Because I went through the entire trauma, feeling so much pain struck and watching it and looking at the symbols. Yeah, the little, that was a little chicken on it. <laughs> what else? A seven. I had to look, it was abstract. I had to look and look and look and find all the symbols and trying to work through it. I was so unattached. I would not have wanted to take the bedroom with me at all. It was pretty, but I need change. And even though if he wanted, I would have bought the same if he didn't have money, but new. Because I don't think you should bring the energy from something else, but it was there. I liked it, it was good. Now you could not take the closet out of the, of the wall. That would not, not have been an option. There were adjacent in another room which had like bookshelves on it. They were integrated. They were built in. No, I think they stayed there. I had a fish tank. I bought it second hand. I put from it was very large. Yeah, you could wrap your arms around it. That large it was. But yeah, he broke it one day. He broke out in in tantrum. He took it in his arms and threw it on the floor, and then everything was dead. Okay, then there was a furniture. So I got a flat screen TV because when I arrived, he had some, something else. I think he had something else. Yes, from Costco. Where else? And there was a furniture which I liked. What was that? I have a very vague memory, but I'm pretty sure that was like the inspiration for Scandinavian design. No, wait, no, it was his? Was it the one here? No, it was his actually. Oh my God, my memory is failing me at this point. Because he had done some kind of glass table. Maybe we kept that one then. No, no, no. Now I see it. I can clearly see it. It was a module. If you have not a keen eye, you would not know whether it's from Ikea or not. But it wasn't from Ikea. It was from Scandinavian design. A just dark, dark wood module. It made me feel better because it was real wood. Not just plastic with a little tiny, you know, cover of whatnot. What else do you need? Nothing. I I installed a new sink in the bathroom because the old thing was so white and like old old grandmother's kind of style. So I got one online and it was super cool, very tiny, that like una charola, like a little salad bowl, little tub, with a little metal structure around. But it broke apart in no time. Yeah, so cheap. It fell apart. Not the ball, but the metal structure. So that wasn't a good item. I could have bought any, any. I could have gone to the fountain store, for example. I, the one I described a few days ago, when they talked about the idiot making a fountain out of clay. You must be joking. And the construction workers didn't say anything. <laughs> Rachel, she built a fountain. No, that was not the day I went to sing. Of course not. That was another day. I noticed that too in the recording. Sometimes I'm so fast. The day I did the for preparation asking her to do the french correction for me they were not there that was like a year before or so because i wouldn't have sang in front of the construction workers because i'm shy i don't need people to look at what i do and i don't need to exhibit myself that, that i would not have done anything if there would have been another person so there were nobody there she didn't have 
people who worked for her, they didn't have the maid or so. Another time I went in very briefly, I don't even know why, and that's when she talked to me about this and that. And I saw, now she was, ah, deconstruction workers. Oh my God, I know this tone of voice. Nah, yeah, I'm making a phone, like I have to. Something like that. She was all negative about it. Weird. I don't know what that was. <gasps> now I saw the, like three of them. Three little tiny Mexican, perhaps. I didn't talk to them, workers. Now she showed me her bamboo. It was tall. I could have been, a, yeah, I, I reckon that if she would buy bamboo, she would actually not look what it is. And she would buy like, not the clumbing, but the other one and would bug the entire neighborhood with it. Because that runs a lot, it's called running bamboo. It runs forever. Oh, I don't know why we talked about it. Maybe she asked me for something. Maybe she wanted another wall or something. She asked me for something. I don't want, I want to get my head out of that dumb house. I want to go back to mine. So Paul Green, at the side, he had a little bit of, um, it looked like kindergarten. So when the kindergarten shows you what to do. Yeah, because I saw it in Davidson, in that school once. They had a garden too in the back. I think that's why they did that. So she had like vegetable gardens, which surprised me because she didn't look like the person who would care for any of eco stuff. She showed it to me once. Those were like, yeah, it's like a cabinet. You put it sideways and put it on, on the earth a little bit high up so you didn't, don't need to bend your back when you pick your carrots, you guys. <laughs> don't need to bend your back. To me, that looks so hustle. I don't know, I just can't emphasize on it. No, it's not, I'm not saying it's bad, it's good for the kids. And then again, is it really? So that's what she had. But she also told me that she had the gardener. Yeah, yeah, the gardener put that in. She said, totally unappreciated. I wonder if the plants ever grow with so much negativity. Because you restrict the earth when you do that. You have a little box and that takes so much attention when you have stuff in boxes. Because if you miss out on watering, the whole thing dies. Instead, if you put that thing in the earth, the earth goes deep. Remember the roots I told you? I showed you the picture. Was it two days ago? It goes down and it soaks up the water from the ground. It's so nice. I know everything about everything. The only thing I don't want is a roof. I don't want to roof my own house because I don't like to go high up, but I did too. I climbed the ladder in my house in Robin Hood and went up from time to time to look at the view. But it was a safe roof. I wouldn't have risked. Outdoors, that was a wooden gestell, like a frame, like a like a table but without but instead of having a cover on the table you have like little wooden planks so that but tall and there was a plant on top but it had been old and had been badly made wrongly made so it was falling apart so i was guided by metria to a place which eventually i took yaiki and showed him just a nice round wooden thing on four, each of the side, four of them, to make it look nice. I saw it in a place next to a church. He never wanted to do that. But that looked also like the table I had in, in Cornavaca in that foundation. It was a very, very tiny table. A very narrow one. Because it fit in that tiny, tiny kitchen, man. Fridges. I looked at kitchens. Fridges. Well, you can buy fridges at Home Depot. I looked at them, yes. If you needed a fridge, there's so many of them. I do not like those bombastic ones, though. There's some fridges that look like you have to drive a Hummer. I don't like those. Keep it simple. That's my lemma. I like it better. Modern. I think these large grills are mom too. But then again, if you have so many, let me post it. 